Oh, it's oh, I thought you had like this. Whatever. <laughs> that is the weirdest thing. Yeah, Take yeah. one. Hi everyone, we are in in, in Motion Academy. I have Broom and guys here. What's Hello, everyone. Okay. What's up? And uh, you are watching Hardcore All Star. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, bro. <laughs> okay, guys. So, first question. Let's introduce yourself for those who don't know you. And Start how seven. old are you? Okay, okay. start from the um, left. I'm Luke. Um, I'm 17. Living uh, city I live in in UK is uh, Bournemouth. It's down mm -hmm. south along the beach. It's okay. nice and sunny usually. Not really in uh, England. I'm Max. I'm 16 and I live with this boy. Well, not with him, but in the same city. <laughs> What's good? Uh, I'm Sam Sutherland, training in Bromley, which is <laughs> South London. Yeah, um, bro. Part of Broomen. I'm Seb, I'm 21, grandpappy. <laughs> <laughs> um, You're the oldest one in yeah, Broomen? Yeah. 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 Um, oldest one in Broomen? Yeah. That's mad. The youngest one in Bruce. Yeah. 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 Max Mate, is the youngest. We got the young. We got the youngest, the youngest and the oldest. And the oldest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're you're six. Than my sister. No, what? Seb, yeah. Seb, you've been you've been living six years longer than Max. That's fucked. That six. is pretty. Fifteen. If you're twenty-two. Oh, 15. Oh, yeah, no, fifteen. No, he's six. Five years. Five yeah. years. <laughs> five years. Yeah, five five years. years. I live in Guildford. Um, same as Hector. Uh, hi, I'm Keelan, I'm 18 years old and I'm from Kent in England and I train with this guy all the time and yeah, I'm from Broomen and I'm a dickhead. <laughs> okay, I'm not. Second question, tell us about your beginning. How did you find out about parkour and how was your way to the level where are you now? What were the milestones, the shift when it got serious? Do you want me to start? Yeah, go on. Oh, oh, it's oh, it's so, uh, how did... <sighs> So uh, me and Keelan used to do break dancing uh, when we were younger. Uh, we started doing like competitions and that, and then when you would go up and do your solo or whatever, you'd do flips. And we just like started enjoying flips more than the actual class and that. So um, then we just started training. Yeah, like, met, yeah. met these guys. They showed us how to jump, what tech was, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> what parkour was instead Literally. of just flipping about. And then, um, there we go. It's pretty much. What about you? What about you guys though? I watched, uh, I watched one of those like Tim Sheaf 09 show. Yeah, reels. Tim yeah. Sheaf 09 show. I watched yeah. like Damien Damien Walters show reels yeah. like with my friends, and we always thought like we we always watched like Jackass and stuff. Yeah. And we always just thought like, yeah, yeah man, man, this looks sick. Yeah, I really want to cool. really want to try <laughs> this, try this kind of crazy fun stuff. Yeah. 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 How old you were back back then? Uh, I started when I was 12, 11, 12. We, Same yeah. here. It's been like six years. It's now, been right? six years, I think now. Yeah. I think six years. But yeah. How long have you been training? Uh, I kind of count it when I learned a backflip in 2010. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Properly. And I think originally when I first kind of was found what parkour was, it was like the original like parkour and free running video. It's like the like the thumbnail is that free run guy with a massive backflip of yeah. like the oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the tower thing. Oh yeah. no, <laughs> the beach. Yeah. Oh, I think that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one. Uh, pretty similar to Sam really. I just yeah. did break dancing with Sam for a bit. Mm. Um, I actually got introduced to Tim Sheath's uh, 09 showreel mm. and uh, pretty much just from there tried to copy it in my back garden mm -hmm. and didn't know there was, I, I didn't really know where the communities were or anything so it was just me and Sam on our own for like a couple yeah, of years yeah. just training, not really doing big stuff and then we met Bruman, like met the guys and they they really showed us how to like properly do parkour and yeah, it was just, yeah. Yeah, who are the founding members? Or uh, Ricky and Nye. Ricky and Nye. Uh, yeah. It kind of started from we had a, it was we like had, we had a team yeah. Guildford Parkour to start with. That was like <laughs> me and Hector and Nye and Ricky and a couple other guys. Yeah, bro. And we decided we want to make something a bit like we want to start something a bit fresh because we wanted an actual name rather than yeah. just our like Guildford town Park. name. Yeah. Um, it was like it was like Nye and Ricky together, and then Hector, oh, Hector kind of suggested the idea that. Nine and Ricky made a team. Yeah, yeah and, then, and then it kind, so of, it kind of came. I remember the first there, like, two second like, names. Yeah, Ricky Brewer and Nine Newman, and then yeah. pushed together. The first solid session was that roof uh, sleep in uh, Guildford on top yeah. of oh. uh, the Friary. Yeah. 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 Is it the Friary? Yeah, it's House yeah. of Fraser. House, House of Fraser. 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 On top of House of Fraser. That was like the first official meeting. Yeah. First official meeting. We, 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 went, we, went, we went for like a weekend in Guildford and we all like bashed out some solid training and we all just decided, like, yeah, this is. 
this is like where this first video is gonna start. Yeah. And we all like slept on this like rooftop together. And it's like glass rooftop and then yeah. Those stones were fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> no, they, for me they were like the the most beautiful really? bed ever. No, I was, I was like, up in the middle of the night like shivering. <laughs> like, it was so bad. I had a shit on that roof. <laughs> Do we have an exact date when Bruman was like was born? Nah, I don't think so. That's kind of yeah. whenever Bruman, we should look into we our Skype Bruman history. Out. Whenever yeah. we are, <laughs> I, think we just, uh, I think we were kind of met in 2014. I think we got real friends when like you and Max met. Yeah, I, I remember you showing me. I remember, I remember you like I, I, on the home on the way back home from that London session. You were like texting me loads, and I was like showing Max. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, he he showed like, me. He was like, look at look at mine. My messages with Keenan. No way! Yeah, so I was like, Keenan messaged me a lot and stuff. <laughs> Man, that's yeah, yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah. Cause I thought you were like pretty cool back then. I was like, oh, oh he's, he's our age and he's doing some magic. I remember watching I remember the first time I saw you was at the Storm Jam in London. <laughs> and with uh, Tim Sheaf and stuff. Yeah, and you were always right. hanging around with them. I was like, why is he hanging around with them? Like, <laughs> why does he deserve that? <laughs> Anyway, it's it's it. I was like some little bratty time. kid, yeah. yeah. When I was like twelve. <laughs> okay, um, when it got uh, like serious, I mean in terms that uh, like uh, you were a more uh, shown to the parkour scene or you were like Right, more... when did we seriously we take parkour really? seriously? Nah, I, I mean, I mean... Uh, when did we first I mean, like, what, what, what was the, what media? was the mile, milestone when did Brewman get uh, recognized in parkour? We, we are oh, Brewman, we are Brewman, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's the that's We just don't know how it got like... In like the first day, really quick, 11k, yeah. and we were like, okay, yeah, people most, are like sharing it. And yeah. Most Stop. viewed video, like, like I had the, at the time. The big thing is, is like, that like uh, Stora shared it, and I'm uh, pretty Ooh. sure quite a lot of the members from Stora, mm -hmm. and a lot of the big, the bigger free running team shared it because they, they, got, they, they, I know it's kind of a sense of like they knew that something big was going to come from yeah. the, like, mm -hmm. these kind of tiny kids that are just yeah. like chucking themselves. Uh, and and we yeah. all, we all we all kind of had everything like we had the good parkour skills we had the good yeah. like free running yeah. and we made good like editing. we had good editing good yeah. filming with Hector and everything yeah. and it all kind of came together worked, in one like, yeah. yeah and we're all so young as well like it was kind of like this new generation of like bigger things are coming from yeah. 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 Next question. now <laughs> this question is uh, to uh, Motu sponsorship. Uh, in, what, in what year in begin and how how did <laughs> this thing set up begin? <coughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> I was firstly sponsored. Uh, well, didn't sponsor because he didn't uh, uh, like announce it. But it was firstly me and Joseph Marks that he like. No, talk mm -hmm. about sixty video. seconds. Yeah, so he made yeah. so Giles made a sixty second video with me before I was like sponsored. Uh, and he put that out on YouTube, and I was rubbish back then. But it was yeah, like he made it. He made it to showcase that you were like a young up and coming. Yeah, it, that was the plan with the series. But uh, in the end, he realised that like he can actually sponsor young athletes and then try and turn them into like professional athletes and give them this like opportunity that people his age didn't have when they were younger. So like, uh, yeah. So he sponsored me, Joseph Marks, and then I told them about like. Uh, uh, just some of the other guys I thought were pretty sick as well. I remember, I remember going and to London with Joe Marks, and he was like, he was saying to Max like, oh yeah, you would, like, he was like, oh yeah, Giles was telling me like, definitely you and Keelan are sponsored. Oh really? And like, I was there in the background, like, going like, yeah. So, oh, so he wanted to sponsor Max. I don't remember. If I don't, if I, the reason, the reason. Yeah, it was the time we did the documentary with the chalk and stuff. Yeah. Oh then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah he no, told no. me then, and he, was, he, he didn't say my name. I was just there like. So the reason he didn't sponsor you straight up is because he didn't know he what you were a dickhead before. or not. Yeah. He was like, yeah, right, he I want to sponsor Luke because he's actually like really skilled, but like I don't want to if he just turns out to be a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> so he like you had to meet him at both of them at Full Love Movement, and then like I think it was halfway through or it was at like the beginning. The, it was like the second day. Yeah, it's like the second day. He like after had the second sat day, down, had in a the chat, evening, yeah, and uh, just pretty much just asked him. That we were all so on board. I remember it. I remember it so well. We all went up onto the. We all went onto like. The what do you call them? The rafters, kind of the seats. Right. Yeah. No, what do you, the, like what do you, the bleachers? That's it. The bleachers. <laughs> That's what they call it in America. Like. I mean, who gives it? Like the, there's like the the seats in the in the event <laughs> stadium, and it, like yeah, he was like. Right. And that's how it happened. I've got, I've got, I've got an announcement to make, and yeah, he just got all sorts together, and he was like, "I've been, uh, I want you to get a guys." To... I think we all kind of knew as soon as he said, "Like, I've got an announcement to make." We all kind of knew. Yeah. yeah. So people need to understand that Motus isn't a team; it's just a collective of sponsored athletes, mm -hmm. and Bruman is the main, like, it's the team that we like. We spread ourselves. Yeah. 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 Exactly. If you, if you, if you yeah. say it as like, Jars is kind of like a boss of a company. He's. He's giving us work. Yeah. So like he, he We're working yeah. for him pretty much. Like what we do, he gives us clothes. Um 
Yeah, we, we, them. we create content for him and if, if he, he'll pay for us to go on trips and we'll do the parkour and free running, he'll film it and then make, the a, make a video. Do the parkour. Make the parkour. Do the make the parkour, you know? Yeah. Your most exciting experience ever. Wow. America tour. That's big. I'm going to say that the US tour. USA tour was one of like the highlights of my, of my life so far. So it, was, it, it was the most projects in a in a van for five weeks around America, yeah. from east to west. Yeah. There we go. There you go. <laughs> That's it. Um, hitting parkour spots, making a movie. Um, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. There'll be a movie at some point that Giles needs to. There's to there will be a movie. There will be a movie that it'll be on demand. It'll be an on demand like movie. Length, like yeah, 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 yeah. Like Which, like, I'm quite excited for. That it's going to be yeah. good. Yeah. I think one, one, one day, one thing that really steps out for me is that like Italy trip yeah, we went on. Um, yeah. Eden. No, oh, yeah, not Eden, not Eden, not Eden. No. Like me, me and Seb, um, Joe, oh, and Nye. Joe. Nye was there, but I, yeah. I wasn't there when right, Nye when was. When Nye left, you came. That was it. Yeah, yeah. And we went down to this like small town in Italy. Yeah. And I remember one night on the beach, like we just like went into this bar and got a few cocktails and then went onto the beach and just like <laughs> went about, went chilling. into the water like midnight. <laughs> some like fighter jet just went over my head and I was like <laughs> 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 Santorini is so good. Yeah. Like I I really enjoyed Santorini but, after yeah. party and stuff and I think but if I we would get like all the a more together, spontaneous trip. Definitely, yeah. I'd like just go to a place and we, just like. We were saying maybe hire like an Airbnb. Like, I'd say one, one of the best for sure was uh, Trolltunga in Norway. So we went mm -hmm. uh, first time um, Norway, not too far from Bergen. It's like this very like iconic mountain. You do like a it's like a ten mile hike up the mountain. Yeah, it's fucking hard. Like yeah, it just kills you. We did it first time, um, and that was just one of the most like. I don't know, one of the most like epic things that I've done. Um, I also went around Asia, but I just come oh, back. Oh, oh she's been to oh, Asia. That would have well. been a highlight. <laughs> <life. laughs> yeah. What are you on about? Kind of traveling, just traveling. Exactly. All, all traveling. Is, all is traveling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, no, more you know. philosophical question. Your, pers your personal attitude to parkour, what does it mean to you? Because there's people who are exactly like me who yeah. I can hang around with. Yeah. Everyone's like mine. Everybody yeah. that does the sport is like minded in some kind of way. You can get on with anybody so that humble. trains. So humble. So humble. Yeah. It's um, like your drug. Everything about it is just amazing. Community. Just, yeah. just exactly. training with your boys. Like. Yeah. 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 I just, just good, really fun. love training. And you, it, never, it never gets old. It never gets old. You always find new things, yeah. new yeah, challenges. Yeah, my mum is always like, new spots, are you bored new of parts? this? Are no, you bored it of just this? keeps I'm going. Like, no, I don't get bored oh, of it. you kidding. Okay. Way of meet, meeting up with your friends, having fun, doing some good exercise, being creative. Yeah. I haven't like experienced many sports like in my life, but like out of them, this is just the best one. Uh -huh. yeah. And it's just like, just pushes amazing. you like, physically, pushes you mentally. It's like, got everything. It's, yeah. Um, yeah. Sick. I think something where you have no boundaries with what you can do, like skateboarding, snowboarding, you know, yeah. like break dance. I think anything the, you can have your own no, style. Really. Yeah, exactly. Like, the you know, the extreme sports category is just such an appealing thing to me. That yeah. Way. yeah. It's almost yeah. like an artistic sport. Isn't it? I think Bench. nearly everyone who does parkour is in somewhat way a humble person in general. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. You it's learn it's like the whole it. like vegetarian. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, like you want your body to be healthy, so yeah. you can do like you can be the best person yeah. you can. Yeah, exactly. And then you also want your friends to be doing the same thing, so yeah. it's all like a really nice... Kind of teach each other with yeah. the community. Yeah. I think like it's different morals. It's and so things. focused on having a good time. It really is compared yeah. to a lot of sports. Like yeah. parkour is very focused on just. Like, no, but it's, it's if something making sure everybody has a good time. Exactly. Well. Like if you're doing something and it's not fun in parkour, then you're just doing something wrong. Because yeah. like it should be just fun all the time. Next question. <laughs> um, basically, what are your plans in the future? What would you like to do? You're what fucking you like rich. <laughs> You know what with the D -R -E. no. <laughs> One thing I think, like the sport is so fresh and so new, and there's nothing really concrete in place. Like we don't, even though I know that if we all keep working on brooming, it's going to go crazy places. I can't really think exactly a path it will lead down because yeah. there's nothing that's really quite happened before. But so it's right, very exciting yeah. to kind of be at the forefront of, but. Yeah. And like at the moment, I'm not entirely sure 
the exact path is going to lead down. I just I know we keep working. I just, yeah. I just think yeah. as long as we keep working, which we will do, and I'm very yeah. just feel dead. Yeah. 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 At the moment, at the moment, we've kind of just got to go with it. Yeah. At the moment, we're kind of teenagers. I just, I just like, I just like what's happening now, and I want what's happening now to just carry on because I don't get. I want to kind of push with the coach. I really enjoy coaching. Yeah, that's cool. Passing on. Yeah, I've started doing a lot. of Yeah, it's fun. Maybe one day have like you know a nice room in academy where. Oh, oh, like a little nice cafe, so, yeah. like, like yeah. I don't know, it's all kinds of cool stuff. Exactly. Yeah. It's something like to do day. when you're a bit battered, like yeah. can't train anymore. Yeah, so. yeah. when you're too fat and old to train anymore, make a jump. What yeah, was so your good. most challenging jump? I think the, du- the double kong I did at IMAX. Yeah. yeah. That's just one that like, it was, it, it, it's like the one that stuff like taken like to like actually prep for a jump. Mm. Oh, yeah. I like yeah. Yeah. really of. focus on like all the parts of it and like, Side flip creature rail, just yeah, it'll be the movement or the first ever one. The first one, yeah, just because it's just it's, you have to know that you're it's going to just this area that's just yeah. so small. Yeah. I don't know, it was just it's really crazy. horrible God. going for the first it's time. Long. It was just, uh, it was, and then you did like 20 times after. <laughs> he did it so many times, yeah, but I guess he, uh, yeah, he did it. Too. Um, I guess which one? Yeah. Uh, I don't really know. I don't think I found like most challenging jump yet. Like one that's really kind of. That's so far. But I'm so far, I think of either the A twist clear in Resurgence because that was the really? first one I've ever done in, in yeah. outside. But then again, that was kind of quick. Or the uh, side flip pre that no one else has seen because it's in the, the USA footage. I'm going to say my most physically and mentally. Um, so for me, my most physically um, was probably when you guys just came back from the America tour and like Keena just come back into training locally with me again. It had been like quite a long time since I had like properly pushed myself and like was training for the whole summer. I hardly really did anything big. And then my body wasn't used to pushing myself like that again. Yeah. And I came to it that. came to so many mental challenges, that yeah. running pre, no. that running pre to the side of the rooftop. Remember how many times you tried that? What side of the roof? That you fell off afterwards. Yeah, that was like my first day. That was like my, I watched that. That was like my first day back into training, and then just before that, like the first big thing I did. But what's the place you would definitely recommend going to? I would say Vietnam. Mm-hmm. Both. It was one of the coolest places ever. For training, there's like one of the best spots I've been to. In my Vietnam. Entire life. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's... I think for parkour, I've always loved England. Yeah. It's staple. It's like a. But the thing is. It like it's not somewhere where you can go on like a week long trip and go to all the spots. You have to like live there yeah. for like a long period of time to really get around. Definitely, the weather's so yeah. temperamental. If, really I, if I were to recommend spot. a spot, I'd recommend to, to go to go Darby. to Derby. Oh, Korean in Derby. I feel like, like you can spend hours yeah. there because there's so many like different like parts to it. Like, but like the enormous there. running through you and hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A trip to UK, yeah, like not even that long of a trip, just like a nice week's trip. And then while you go there, you go to London, you go to Bournemouth, you go to Kent, and you go to Guildford. Yeah. And that's yeah. pretty much yeah. everyone sure. you want to go with. That's the South. Brighton, yeah. you got to go to Brighton. Yeah. And Brighton, and Brighton. Brighton. Okay, maybe two weeks. Then. Yeah. <laughs> two weeks, yeah, you got to go Brighton. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, just, maybe just if come in. If, if you went to UK and did one week north, one week south, that would yeah, be perfect. Yeah. 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 Do you know Czech parkour community? And uh, if uh, if yes, uh, what do you know about it? Yeah, my um, man Tom Kapek. Yeah, and he's Lucas. coming to the jam. He messaged me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I spoke to him as well. Uh, yeah, he was a good friend of. I remember he was a good friend of Nye. He, yeah, he came and visited England and like spent a good some good time with us. Uh, the other one is Zoni. Mhm. Yeah. Zoni. Uh huh. Orange. So that's mainly Orange that's one. mainly from uh, Orange. mainly from the Frank video. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Seems like a pretty incredible guy. Yeah. It seems yeah, it seems like you've got a pretty I, sick community here. Like a pretty good strong base of yeah. it. There's a lot, awesome of, lot of people now. Yeah. I mean I've been here for a day and like just meeting you guys, you're so like, dedicated to working yeah. and coaching these kids. Just um, classic like what the parkour community should be. Yeah. You know I mean? Seems like an unknown sick place. In yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually didn't know <laughs> anything about. Um, I didn't know Pra, pra like mm-hmm. Czech Republic had such a huge community until we got. <laughs> and you it. guys, you guys Check have had it. a big Check journey it. as well. Like, <laughs> yeah. Pavel was telling me that he's been training for ten years, and right at the beginning, you guys had a dream that you wanted to make a parkour park, or mm-hmm. they had a dream, um, and then they just. 
they ran this business and they got it started and they made one parkour park and another parkour park. And like, they had the dream, they fulfilled the dream and they're living the dream now. So it's like, it's motivational that you guys are here, so unknown and like just popping off. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoy it here. Ah, is that a wrap? Yeah. Yeah. Sure we will. Yeah. Sure yeah. Yes. Oh, no, again. <laughs> <laughs> we will. Uh, so are you, are you leaving tonight? You won't, you won't come back then? Uh, no, I'm go not going. I'm not coming back. No. Oh, really? Okay. Well, he is a true Don. Yeah. He picked us up from the airport. Big up. <laughs> Big up. Times four. Yeah, yeah. boy. Yeah. My man. Boy guy. Subscribe, to this, subscribe to this guy. Yeah. Subscribe Keep to this channel, yeah. like the video. Uh, <laughs> share it about it. Share it about it's it. gonna pop up right here. <laughs> <laughs> and check out Bruin, obviously. Bang. Yeah. Done, done. Yeah. Okay. That's a wrap. Woo.